Hey guys, in the last video we talked about how to connect PFSense to Azure Network with Site2Site -Site VPN Tunnel. In this video, we're going to add another tunnel from our PFSense to AWS so that we can access the AWS network and servers through our server VLAN. For those who have not seen the previous video, I'm going to quickly go over our current setup. We have server VLAN sitting behind our PFSense and PFSense currently has a Site2Site -Site Tunnel with our Azure network. And for both Azure VMs and the network behind PFSense can communicate with each other. I have added another tunnel to AWS, which is what we are going to be covering in this video. So let's get started. So let's log into our AWS console. And nothing is configured on the AWS console right now. Uh, we're going to create a virtual machine. We're going to create a virtual private network and uh, we are going to assign that network to our virtual machine and then we're going to create our tunnel so first thing you want to do is search for vpc click on your vpc create i'm going to call it azure-net 192.168.0.0 slash 24 would be our cidr uh, Keep things simple. It's a slash 24 network and create VPC. Once your VPC has been created, we're going to go to subnets, create subnet, assign it to the VPC, or assign a VPC to a subnet. We're going to call it Azure dash subnet. I'm going to use the same IP. Here, 192.168.0.0 slash 24, and create subnet. Next, I'm going to create Internet Gateway so that when we assign, uh, when we create our virtual machine and assign this subnet to it, it, it gets Internet access. So let's create Internet Gateway, call it Azure Internet, create Internet Gateway. And then we're going to attach it to our VPC. So once it is attached, we're going to go to Route Tables, Action, Edit Routes. As you can see, this there is no route for the internet, so we're going to add one. Call it 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 zero dot zero slash zero, and we're going to want that to route through the internet gateway that we just created and save changes. So next we're going to go to EC2 to create our virtual machine. EC2, we're going to click on instances and then launch instances. I am going to call it AWS server. And you can run anything you want, but if on this demo, I'm going to run Ubuntu 2204, 64 bit, I'm using my free tier. Uh, you will have to create a key pair, but we're not going to use the key pair to log into our VM. Uh, we're going to use our ECT uh, EC2 console through the web to log into our virtual machine. So I'm going to click on create new pair and just call it key, create a pair, just download that. And you have to make sure when you create your virtual machine, the network info is should be set up to the VPC that we had configured earlier. Make sure this is the Azure net and make sure this is the subnet that we created earlier. Public IP, I'm going to click on edit and click on enable so that it gets a dynamic IP. Uh, if for those who want who don't want their public IP to be changed every time a virtual machine restarts, they can opt for an elastic IP, uh, which is kind of like a static IP uh, that you can associate with your virtual machine so it doesn't change. Now, everything else, I press something, but um, so once you have your public IP enabled, uh, there's nothing much change here. This is where you would configure your storage. Um, we're going to leave it to default and launch instance. 
once this is successful, we are going to go back to our EC2 instances. And we still don't see it here. I'm going to hit refresh. And that's the one that we just created. It's in pending state, so it's being deployed. And this is our public IP address associated with this virtual machine. I'm going to hit refresh again. It may take a few minutes to get that deployed. And as you can see, it says running. Click on it. Click on connect. And hit connect again. And this should connect us to the virtual machine. Note this ha it has a public IP of 44.192.116.159. And the inter internal IP is 192.168.0.230. So we're good with the virtual machine part. Let's go and set up our virtual site-to-site uh, -site tunnel. So we're going to go back, search for VPC. Go to our VPC dashboard and we are going to create a customer gateway. You're going to click on create customer gateway and call it pfSense. This will be the external IP address of your pfSense or public IP of your pfSense and hit create customer gateway. Um, I already have it created, which is right here. Once we have our gateway created and the state says available, the next thing we're going to do is go into virtual private gateways and create a virtual private gateway. I'm just going to call it virtual gateway. And we can leave it to default ASN. Click on create. We have our virtual gateway created. Next, we're going to create a site to site tunnel. So go to site to site VPN connection, create VPN connection. We can name it PFSense just for the simplicity again. So we know it's connecting to PFSense. Target gateway type would be virtual private gateway. And this will be virtual gateway again customer gateway that we created earlier. This will be our PFSense. And if you read this, it says, what is the subnet on the PFSense side or the customer gateway side? So I'm going to call this 10.37.0.0 slash 20. That's our server VLAN. If I open this, this is the network 10.37. The remote network is our 192.168.0.0 slash 24. This is our AWS network. And I'm going to click on, there's one more thing that we're missing, the routing options. We're not going to use BGP. We're going to click on static. And over here, we're going to add our PFSense subnet or VLAN. Same as what we added here. Copy that and add it here. And create VPN connection. Now this may take about five to 10 minutes. Once this is complete, you should see it says available. And we're gonna start configuring our PFSense side. So while this is being created, we can download the configuration so that we can extract public IP address off our gateway and the pre-shared key that we're going to be using on our PFSense to create the tunnel. So I'm going to click on PFSense right here, click on download configuration, just type generic IKE2 and download on save. So once I have this file downloaded, we are going to need following information right here this is our pre-shared key this is our virtual private gateway that we're going to use on our pfsense and that should be it
when you download this configuration file, you're going to see that it gives you configuration for two tunnels. We're only going to create one. Uh, it gives you two for the sake of redundancy, but in this case, we're only going to create one tunnel to RPF Sense. So let's log into RPF Sense. Once you're logged in, go to VPN, click on IPsec, and we're going to add phase one. Call it AWS Phase 1, IKEP2, Remote Gateway. We can extract it from here. Copy this, paste, pre share key again. We can go back. Pre share key can be copied. The age group is supposed to be 2. You can see right here. And everything else can be set as default. And apply. So phase one is ready. We're going to create our phase two. So add phase two. AWS dash P2. We want our server VLAN to connect to the local, to connect to our AWS network. The remote network, we have to specify here 192.168.0.0. This is our AWS subnet. It's a slash 24. And everything else can be default. I'm going to click Save, Apply Changes. Let's go back to the VPC dashboard and refresh to see whether our gateway is available now. And it seems like it is available. So we are going to go to Status, IPsec and click on connect. And as you can see, our gateway, our site to site tunnel has been established. So next we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a quick ping test to verify our connectivity. Let's go to our AWS instance and try to ping our server VLAN or the computer that I'm currently on, 10.37.0.98. And it seems to not be pinging right now. The reason for that is we need to add a firewall rule to allow AWS traffic onto our Windows computer. We Windows Defender with advanced security create a new firewall rule, new inbound rule, custom all programs, any any remote IP would be our AWS network 192.168.0.0 slash 24. Click OK. Next, allow. Call it AWS network. And we also need to do additional thing. Let's go to our virtual private gateway. We have not attached our virtual private gateway to our VPC yet. So I'm going to click Attach to VPC, select our VPC here, which is our Azure Net. Attach. And that's completed. One additional thing that we need to verify is go back into Route Tables, Edit Routes. And we need to make sure this route exists. If it doesn't exist for you, you'll have to add route, add in your EFSense subnet. In this case, for me, it's 10.37.0.0 slash 20. You're going to search for virtual private network or virtual private gateway. And then you will select VGW. For me, it's already there. Uh, for you, it may not be there. So add it this way and then you can click on save changes and we're going to try the ping test again when we attach we just attached our virtual private gateway to the VPC it may take a few minutes for it to completely propagate we go back to our VPC dashboard go to our virtual private gateway it says it has been attached. If we go to site to site VPN, it says available. We go to tunnel details. Tunnel is also up. We go to static routes. These are 
static routes or as in which this is the pfSense network and as you can see we just had to wait for a bit and we're getting the response from our Windows computer so that's good let's uh, do the ping test to our AWS network from here ping 10 actually this is 192.168.0.230 as it is here and as you can see I still cannot ping it that's because we need to allow firewall rule again on the AWS side so that it accepts connection from 10.37 subnet which is my server VLAN so go back to our VPC dashboard we're gonna go to security groups Click on launch wizard. We're going to add an inbound rule over here. Add rule. All ICM PV4. Again, allow it from everywhere. Or you could be specific. 10.37 subnet. So I'm just going to do specifically from there. Save rules. And if I go back here and try to ping it, I am getting the response. So we have successfully created a tunnel to AWS from our PFSense. If you like the video, please comment, like, and if you have feedback, do let me know. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be very helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.